Last week, we had a rental machine delivered. We had one day with the machine and a stovepipe that needed to get installed before the rain set in. Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna to start doing cutouts for the stove pipe that goes through the newly installed painted ceiling we got. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing we did, we did, you guys saw, is that we actually had that box set up. We shot the laser line straight up to the roof. We made our marks. We're gonna eventually square all that out and cut that entire thing out. We did that with the laser to make it easier for us. We also traced the floor of that box also. And right now I'm actually gonna go ahead and mark center real quick. So center is marked. That's where the stove pipe is actually gonna go through the roof. So what's gonna happen next, we're gonna go ahead and cut everything out up top, put our dot laser back on this center mark right here, and we'll shoot it up through the roof. It's gonna be, I guess, on the OSB portion where it goes to the metal roof. We'll mark dead center, we'll drill a hole out there. So we want to get on top of that lift outside. We can see the hole, we know we need to make, the, make our cut for the uh, penetration for the roof. We pulled out, like I see the peak, we pull out two minutes of insulation, it's one piece, easy that way. Once we get this thing lined up and squared up, we're gonna make the hole outside. Once that hole is done, we'll put this thing in there and we'll, we'll also go ahead and re-insulate from the outside. It might be a little bit easier because this entire space will get taken up with the uh, box. Make the hole a little bit bigger on the outside. The flashing will cover the entire hole up. And we're actually gonna put another piece of fresh metal over top of it so it all just flows down. All right, need to know. So I think we should just cut this thing, girl. We shot a laser from the floor. We had dead center where the uh, stove pipe's gonna be at. So we shot a laser straight up and it made the dot on the uh, OSB on the other side of the metal. I just ran it through, a screw through there real quick so I can see where it's at. I'm gonna push that back through in there. I should have unscrewed it, I forgot. Um, now I gotta deal with it. I'm gonna push it back in there. I'm gonna do a, take my six inch hole saw, burn a hole through there real quick. And I know it's not gonna fit because I'm blowing the hole saw that way. So you take a sawzall and cut up and around because uh, this is a six inch hole saw, but the pipe's going through the roof that's angled like this. So if I take my hole saw and put it like that, it's, the hole's not big enough. So I got my saws out here too, so I'm gonna cut, up, cut that around also. Not a big deal. Too tall, you know. Should have brought that grease out here for you. 
I'll be sitting through there, you know. No, just cutting a hole in the roof while it's raining outside. No big deal. Well, I mean, we got it for a day, so. We like to live on the wild side. It's supposed to start raining at 11 o'clock. It's supposed to start at 7 o'clock and stop by 11 o'clock. Well, I woke up at 5 o'clock with rain, so. Josh, the weatherman, signing <laughs> off. <laughs> Now it's time to put the flashing on real quick. Six inches short. Six inches short. So we're fighting the light. It's obviously dark now. Um, we got the box up. We didn't record me putting the insulation back in around there. We got that in. We got the blocking done. We put some little extra bit of metal in there. Um, everything's good. Got the two pipes up. Um, it's unfortunate. We're supposed to be two feet above the peak. I'm 18 inches, so I'm six inches low. I gotta call Lehman's and get an extension and put it on. It's not a big deal for right now. But since all this stuff is done, if we're gonna go ahead and put the flashing on, get everything covered back up, you can get, get the roof put back on. So uh, when it does rain tomorrow, <laughs> um, then you can wet inside the house. So panel, make the whole panel length four feet. Edge of panel is right here. So from edge of panel on the right hand side, edge, we cut it three inches from the edge. And then from the third edge over, we will cut it from off the center point, we'll cut it three inches also. 15 and a half inches down to the top of the square is gonna be. Storm collars on, caps on, we're good. We've got a coke around here, and that's it. What, you record me? Pet it.
beautiful day, so work can wait. Yep. you saw earlier this week, we got all of the stone up on the fireplace and we also got the stove pipe out through the roof. Yes. So today that means that we are going to start filling in all of the gaps in between the stone with some mortar. Yes. Yeah, so we got a mortar bag. We're going to kind of like ice in a cake, right Aaron? Yes. Hopefully. Fill, fill it all in and smooth it all out. All of those gaps that you guys have seen is on purpose. It's the look that mm -hmm. we are going for. Um, when we were looking through inspiration pictures for this, we felt like the fireplaces that had all the stone really tight together made it a little bit clunky and heavy and we wanted to go with something that was a little bit softer. Yes, yeah, so we spaced them out, we have a lot of mortar in between, it's gonna look good. Yep. Alright, so you ready to get started? Yep. Alright. Looks good. It does. The, the look we're going for is taking a lot longer and it's a lot more tedious and a little harder than we thought it was going to be, right? Yes, it has taken hours and hours and hours, but it's... it's the, other, the issue is like cleaning clean up all the edges and getting them in there nice and right and thank God I have Aaron here. I mean, I would go do that. I, I'm not that type of guy to make that perfect. It's the one thing I, I came in on and uh, just so happened to have the skill set. Yes. Hidden skill set I didn't even know I had. Which, mm. Who would have known? You're full of them. <laughs> so. So it looks good. It's exactly what we were wanting this to turn out as we're not done yet. No. We're still working on the top, we're working on the sides. There's a couple of areas that are still too wet for me to like manipulate mm -hmm. the mortar. And I'm just glad, you know why? Because I have a pork shoulder and a smoker. I've been cooking all day. It's at 196 degrees right now. It's getting ready to get coming out. So. Yeah, Josh is living the dream. Taking naps, I'm eating excited. pulled pork sandwiches. I mean. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> all right. Let's go. So the plan is to take this dolly, pick the entire thing up on the pallet. We're gonna walk it around and uh, bring that pallet up and set the pallet down onto the stem. The reason why I want to do it that way is I don't want the, this thing to get rocked on top of the stone, potentially right. break the stone and roll it around. So park the pallet here and we'll take the stove and walk it off into position. 
and then we gotta shim it up. Make okay. sense? Yeah. Do you got this? I think so. It's heavy. It's very heavy. 550 pounds, I think. We got the stove on the platform. We shimmed it up with uh, some square washers. I gotta come back later on and put non-shrink grout underneath there to hold everything up permanently. Before we start the stove pipe, we're gonna go ahead and put these trim pieces on. These pieces go around the box that comes through the ceiling and they are fully adjustable. Uh, depending on the pitch of your roof, depends how big this is gonna be. So it's adjustable for per the roof. Good. It's so much more complete with that up there. Light? Yeah. Yeah. It's good to still pipe in. So it's in guys, it looks good. Um, it is double walled pipe, it's not single walled pipe. I think for single walled pipe you need 16 inches of clearance for combustibles from the pipe. Um, with double walled things at eight inches, but the closest thing we have to our pipe is 13 inches. So we are in the clear with all that. So we're good to go. You excited? Yeah, I want to try all the accessories. Yeah, good. Okay. <laughs> We are about 98% done with this project now. All we're waiting on is the small extension piece that will push us the required two feet above the ridge line. Yep, and working with layman's has been very easy. Um, I pretty much gave them rough dimensions and rough measurements, and they got all the pipe and everything put together for me, and everything worked out great. It did. When we got the boxes, we went ahead and just opened everything up, laid it out mm -hmm. on the floor, and then like dry fit everything together. And that way, once we went to put it up, it was actually a fairly quick process. Yeah, it wasn't bad. And uh, Layman is also offering 10% off any Vermont bun baker mm -hmm. on their website, and they're also offering uh, free drop shipping on stovepipe. Link in the description below. This has been our dream stove for a long time now. Yes. When you guys saw us back in either summer or fall, when we, fall. when we were building the platform, we knew that this was the stove that we wanted to go with, so we were able to look up the requirements. All the clearances. For it. Yeah, we, we pretty much built it off the clearances for this stove. We have all the clearances around the stove. We have all the clearances around the stovepipe. It's double walled stovepipe. Mm -hmm. um, everything is safe. We had we got smoke detectors going in everywhere. They're actually carbon dioxide slash smoke detectors. So a two in one. So everything is good to go. Everything's coming together. It is. It's bright in here and it's a mix of the rustic and the modern with the stone and the stove pipe. It's got a bit of an industrial look. Then we've got the beams and the white that just brightens everything up. So it's neat. I mean, it's actually coming together. Yeah, I mean. It's working out. <laughs> it is working out. I know doing the, the I guess the mortar between all the stone was a little bit tougher than we thought it was going to be. And more time consuming too. It was very tedious and we used a lot of different strategies that I don't even know if, I don't know if it's necessarily the proper way to do it. I mean, we had a paintbrush in there for a while that we were using that was just a wetted paintbrush. We were using a, st uh, a sponge, sponge, all different kinds of stuff just to get it to look the way that we wanted. And it definitely did. It took a long time. It did. All right. It worked out. That's it, right? Yeah. What else you got? That's it. You know what I got next is a new project. Alrighty. <laughs> Alright guys. Thanks see, for watching. Yep. We'll see you next time. See you next time.